Well, first and foremost, there is no formal definition or understanding of what a startup is in Uganda's context. So if we were to have a law policy, the expectation is that that is one of the things to be addressed therein. Secondly, is to create an enabling environment for such startups to thrive, which should speak to the nature of incentives that they receive to enable them compete on a global scale. We have seen that the countries, African countries which have this law, have been able to grow more successful startups that are attracting a lot more in foreign investment in comparison to ours. Our startups struggle a lot when it comes to competing on a global scale because of the environmental issues in relation to how they operate. It is not just about financing, but it's also about access to markets. It's about um, access to the talent that they need to develop, the ideas. It's about understanding of innovation and promotion of it and all the aspects that come with such promotion. Uh, today, in conjunction with a number of stakeholders, we have converged. And the ex essence of our convergence is to discuss and come up with recommendations towards having uh, a startup act in our country. As you are aware, there is an emerging trend of new businesses that are highly scalable with the capacity of enormous returns on investment. We are at the point where young people world over are coming up with innovative business ideas. And these innovative ideas are capable of raising uh, exponentially, uh, exponential turnovers. These, business, these businesses are different from the SMEs as we know them. These are new businesses, whereas SMEs are businesses that are already at, uh, they, they, they are, are way uh, over and above the beginning stages. They are usually mostly stable and they are mostly, they have conventional methods of financing. But here we are talking about venture capital financing uh, models of businesses.